What's up, guys? Benny Adams back again. We're talking about episode two of The Traders, one of the best reality shows on TV right now. And, and I'm not just saying that to say that it's really good. Check it out, Peacock. So, so good. So we're on episode two now. We were left on a cliffhanger on episode one where uh, the, the traders were getting rid of one of three people. And it was going to be either Brandy, Riza, or Kate. So we still don't know who it is. And they're still deliberating when uh, when we come back on this episode. So we fast forward a little bit. It's morning time. It's breakfast. <laughs> you guys, they're, they're, they're in, the, in this extravagant um, dining room, huge table. Food looks amazing. I'm like, can I get some of that? <laughs> so they're eating the food. And so how it works is they come, they come into the dining room in groups. And that's how they found out, find out if, you know, their comrade got uh, murdered from the game. So one by one, they're coming in and uh, Brandy comes in and she's really nervous. She's like, okay, I need Riza and Kate to be back here. And she's freaking out. She's freaking out. Everyone's coming in one by one and it's not Riza and Kate. Finally, Kate comes in and she knows that it's Riza. So uh, it was it was very, very interesting. Okay, so I, I want to know what do you guys think about this. Brandy made a very interesting point. I want to pick your brains on this. So, so Brandy said that she doesn't want to be around certain people, not because they're traitors, but because they annoy her. And so this got me thinking, like, is this a smart way to play the game? You know, because at the end of the day, all these people are on your team. But I can kind of see where she's coming from because also, you know, if all these people are making it to the end, they're splitting the money. So that's going to be, re that, that's actually a very good question. Do you think that, you know, some of these people who are not traders will turn on each other and vote them out, even though they know that they're not traders? Will they vote them out just because they're annoying? They don't want to share the, the 250K with them. So let me know what do you think about Brandy's logic? Also, something about Brandy, and Cody picked up on this. I picked up on this also. Brandy is very observant, and Cody is right to be worried about her. Like, she she is dotting her I's and crossing her T's. Like, she is definitely one to look out for. Um, she's already called out a couple of names, and she, she she's going in the right direction. Um, and we're going to talk more about Brandy because I, I I think it would be very smart if they got rid of her, but we're going to talk more about that later. So after we find out that Riza was the one um, that was murdered from the show, uh, we get a flashback. And so he's in this room and there's a letter on the chair. So he opens the letter. And I, I felt I felt bad for the guy. As soon as he opened the letter and he he read it to himself, you could you could see the hurt on his face. He didn't want he didn't want to get eliminated. And especially to to be the first one eliminated, like that, that uh, no one wants to be the first one. Um, the first one eliminated from any type of reality show or game. But uh, I really respect how he was a good sport about it. And, you know, he said if, if he was a traitor, he would get rid of himself also. I really do think he would have been um, a tough player to beat if they didn't get rid of him. So I think the traitors made a very, very good uh, judgment call on um, murdering uh, Riza. So as soon as Riza got murdered, they started getting their suspicions on Michael. So this is why they started getting their suspicions on Michael. Riza and Michael got an argument. So in their minds, they're like, oh, well, maybe this was like a thing where Michael's like, oh, I don't like Riza. Let me get rid of him. I don't think you, can th you should think like this, though. You have to think of who is on their radar, not if, oh, this person doesn't like someone. Because then I feel a lot of innocent people <laughs> are not going to make it in this game. Um, but that's just my thought. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Okay, so a lot of people are, are suspecting a lot of people. So let's do, let's dive right into this. So let's start first talk about Brandy. So Brandy said Christian was on her radar. Brandy, she's really good. So, you know, uh, she her her radar is on everyone right now because she also suspected Michael and she also told Sari that who is a traitor. She's telling all Sari all of her all of her business and Sari's just 
laying back, playing the acting game. Um, so it's going to be, he takes all of this information. Um, and then Andy, Andy also said that she thought Christian um, was being like a bulldog. So that was very, very interesting. And that was a red flag um, that arose. So we have to see what's going to happen. All right, this next mission, this next mission drove me insane. Like I couldn't do it. So they were split up into two teams. I think it was the red and blue team. And um, some of the some of the players were buried underground. And then the other players had to find them. What did you think about this mission? I thought it was a cool mission. Not me though. Don't sign me up. I could never do that. But what did you guys think about the mission? What, what do you guys think about the missions in general so far? From episode one to episode two. Do you like the missions? Do you not like the missions? Let me know. All right. So during the ride back, and this is why I said Brandy is a dangerous player and they need to get rid of her. If 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 we're talking about rooting for the the traders, they need to get rid of, rid of Brandy because already Brandy is suspecting Sari and uh Brandy said this while Cody was in the ride with her that she suspects uh Sari is one of one of the traitors and then Brandy again Brandy and Andy they both suspected Christian get rid of Brandy she's on point she's already nabbed two of them and I if they don't get rid of her I think one of them is going to go I think Sari or Christian could be in danger if they don't get rid of Brandy if Brandy isn't the next one murdered so we'll have to wait and see uh what's gonna happen um but what's interesting is they didn't really voice their opinions to the rest of the group they kind of kept to themselves um brandy did say that she wanted michael out and so this is interesting because does brandy really think michael is a traitor or does she just want michael out because she's just not really michael let me know so after the ride back to the castle they get to the castle and that's when the banishment takes place so they are in this large room sitting uh around this large table it's kind of like a deliberation if you may and it's so funny out of all people to start the conversation it's cody and so he says you know there there are two people that we we've, we've all been talking about and uh um, it's none other than michael and uh geraldine so Michael and Jared, Jill, Geraldine, they have to fight for their lives now. And they don't, they both don't look happy whatsoever. And so they're pleading their case. And it, it was very interesting. So again, like I said in episode one, they suspected uh, Geraldine because of her body language after they were uh, unblindfolded when the traders were selected. They said she was very fidgety. She was moving a lot. She did not look happy whatsoever. Uh, Michael, he pled his case and he said, you know, he is just a very awkward person. And the guy, he, he did look a little hurt that they thought that he uh, was one of the traitors. But let's talk about how this whole thing works. So they all vote and everyone knows their vote. So the person who doesn't get banished, they know that this person was after them. So I don't know if that's going to work for them, work against them, because we see this done in other reality shows. You know, this is done on the challenge where people are voting to who they want to go into elimination. So it's going to be interesting. I don't think that method is going to harm the people who are voting for the people that they think are the traitors, because these people who they thought were the traitors still have a target on their back who made it because because they're like, oh, wow, well, they think I'm the traitor. So I need to get in good and I need to somehow convince them that I'm not a traitor. So I don't think it's going to, I don't think that method is going to hurt them that much. But what do you guys think in the comments? Let me know below. So uh, towards the end of the vote, it was a tie. The tie ended up getting being broken. And Geraldine was unfortunately the one that was banished. So what happened was she had to get up and she had to walk to the front where the host is. The host and said, Geraldine, reveal your role. Are you a traitor or are you a faithful? And she had this little speech and she said she was a faithful and everyone was like, oh. and it was so funny because we see Cody and Sari acting also. They're good actors. They're very good, but they, they've done this. They're, they've been on reality TV. 
And it, it's so cool because I believe them also. And I know that they're traitors. And it, what's very interesting also, and let me know what you think about this. This reminds me of uh, F Boy Island. If you guys have seen this, let me know if this reminds you of F Boy Island, how, how all this went out, how they voted out the player, um, and how it reveals to the group um, if they were a traitor or if they were a faithful. But let me know what you guys think. All right, so this is a big one. This is a big one. We're at the end of the episode. The traders meet up and they're discussing who they want to get rid of next. So um, Sari and Christian find out that there are people or there, there is at least one person who suspects them. And Brandy's that number one target. And it seems like and I, I'm very confused about this because it seems like Suri doesn't want to get rid of Brandy. If someone told me, if I was a trader and someone told me, hey, Benny, Suri meant, or, uh, Brandy mentioned your name, I would be like, get rid of Brandy. Get rid because she's just going to cause more trouble. Right now, Brandy hasn't revealed all this information to everyone. So Suri is still good. So if they were smart, they would get rid of Brandy and not anyone else. But I, let me know, what do you think? Who do you think should be the next person to get murdered. It was left on a cliffhanger, so we don't know. I have a question for you. So I wanna know how long do you think it will take for all of these people, the faithful, to realize who the traitors are? We're already, we're, we finished episode two, we're going on to episode three and they haven't figured it out yet. So how long do you think it's gonna take for them to you know, say, hey, it's Sari, Sari, you're out. Hey, it's Cody, Cody, you're out. Hey, it's Christian, Christian, you're out. Let me know how long do you think it will be? And who do you think, if it happens, who do you think will be the first trader to get banished? Who do you think will be the first trader to get figured out? I think it's Christian because he doesn't have a lot of experience in this game, even though Suri is on the chopping block with Brandy. I think it could be Christian, but let me know in the comments. I want to know what you guys think. Tune in for episode three and uh, to find out who's going to get murdered. The trader. But until next time, you guys, I'm Vinny Adams. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching with me, watching the Hollywood Junket. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time.